Now let us see what a brute force attack is. Now we know that attacks are basically classified as passive attacks and active attacks. But here specifically let us try to understand what a brute force attack is. Now we know that when we consider an encryption algorithm. So we have an encryption algorithm which works on a secret key. So the encryption algorithm takes in a plain text and produces the ciphertext. And we conclude that the secret lies in the key. right? So the key has to be kept a secret and to decrypt and get back the plain text, this secret key has to be used. So what does a brute force attack do? So in case of a brute force attack, the attacker would try all possible variants of the key or password and would try to get the plain text. Right? So therefore, the attacker would perform an exhaustive key search. So he performs an exhaustive key search to identify the key which was used to get the ciphertext so that he can decrypt and get back the plain text. In order to understand brute force attack in a better way, let's consider the Caesar cipher. So the generalized Caesar cipher expression is C, the cipher text equals P plus K mod 26, right? So here K varies from 0 to 25 because the plain text is a set of alphabets which vary from A to Z and the cipher text is also a set of alphabets from A to Z with numerals 0 to 25. Right? So the alphabet A is represented as 0 and so on up to Z, which is represented by the number 25. So we can possibly have the value of K as 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 25. The value of K equal to 0 is not used because if K is 0, that the ciphertext equals the plain text. So essentially we have 25 possible keys, 1, 2, 25. Now let's assume that the person who is encrypting, the encryptor uses one of the keys among these 25. So he uses one of the key. Let's assume that it is 10 and then you perform encryption. So now what does the attacker do? Now if he tries brute force attack, then the attacker would try all 25 keys until he gets back the plain text. right? So somewhere in between, since k is 10, maybe if he starts from 1, the 10th attempt he would get back the plain text. So this is brute force attack. So this is brute force attack made simple. Now in today's scenario, if we consider an algorithm like DES, which uses a key length of 56 bits. So how many different keys would we have? We would have 2 power 56 different keys. Right? So the attacker would have to do a key search which is equal to 2 power 56. Right? So therefore the amount of time required for the attacker to identify the key, the right key which was used for the process of encryption is proportional to the length of the key, is proportional to the length. So larger the length, more time would the attacker take to identify the key because he has to try all possible variants of the key. So now the question is how do we defend ourselves against brute force attack? So how do we make the algorithms secure, the ciphers secure from brute force attack? So let's see what they are. So how do we defend ourselves from brute force attack? Right? So the best way to defend the algorithm or the encryption algorithm from the brute force attack is to increase the length of the key. So to increase the length of the key. So what happens as the key length is increased? As the key length is increased, of course there are more characters or more bits. So therefore more time is taken by the system to try all possible variants of the key. Now if the key length is 56, the attacker would have to try all 2 power 56 but if the key length is 2 power 256 the time taken would increase drastically. So therefore the length of the key is increased. So greater the length more time would the attacker need to identify the correct or the secret key. 
The second way is to make the password more and more complex. So to have a complex password or a complex key. Now how can this be done? This can be done by having more options, for, by giving more options for the given password. Now when you give a password, many times it need not be numbers, you can also have characters. So if we include characters, numbers, uppercase and lowercase characters as a part of our password, then the password becomes more and more complex. Right? So basically we are trying to increase the number of possible combinations and hence the brute force attacker would, would find it more and more difficult to identify the right password. The third way is to limit the number of attempts. So the third way is to limit the number of attempts. So if we have a login where we type the password and we log into a system, so we could have limited number of attempts. So if the user fails in these limited number of attempts, then the user is blocked, right? So therefore, the user has to remember the password and has to enter the password correctly in these attempts. The number of attempts can be three, five, and so on, depending on the requirement. One of the most important way to avoid brute force attack is to implement capture. Now, when brute force attack is done, it is never done manually. It is not possible for a person, the attacker, to manually try all possible variants of the key or of the password because the number of different passwords possible would be so huge. right? So they all would be system run. So to ensure that the login being made or the person entering the password is a human, we can implement CAPTCHA. So along with the password, we also can implement a CAPTCHA where the person who's trying to log in physically enters the CAPTCHA. So this would eliminate a system entry and thereby avoid a brute force attack. Right? So basically what is brute force attack? In a brute force attack, the attacker would try all possible variants of the key and he would try to illegally get into the system, log into the system, either to read the plain text or to identify the key or to identify the password itself. Right? So there are different types of brute force attack and we shall see what they are in the next video lecture. Make sure you do like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads and thanks for watching.